Welcome to day number 17 of 40 Days of Power. We are breaking barriers during this week, and I trust that your prayer is breaking barriers. Every limitation is falling down, and today is a breakthrough day for you. And we're talking about breakthrough from Genesis chapter 38, verse 29. Then it happened as he drew back his hand that his brother came out unexpectedly, and she said, how did you break through? This breach be upon you, therefore his name was Perez. This is a story uh, of a woman called Tama who is about to deliver. And in the process of delivery, one of the children shows up uh, as if the child is about to be the first one to be born. And, and then... Whilst they were waiting, so they, they tied a cord to the hand of the child so they know this is going to be the first child. And for some reason, the child's hand goes back and uh, whilst they're waiting, another child comes in, the, the second twin comes in and is born. So what they thought would be first doesn't become first and the one they thought would not be first become first. And the one who came from behind is called Perez, uh, simply mean the one who breaks through or makes the breach. And it's a very interesting story. It illustrates how sometimes people can be ahead of you and yet God can bring you from behind to overtake them. When we talk about breakthrough, we are not talking about something that is in the natural sequence of events. Something that is in the natural sequence of events goes in a certain pattern. And all things being equal, that's how it's going to be. But when we say it's a breakthrough, it means that it goes outside of the natural order and something unexpected happens. And I believe that in these days as we pray, the God of the breakthrough is with you and something unexpected is going to happen. Somebody who is at the back of the line is about to be shifted to the front of the line. Somebody who people said, it's not your time, it's not your turn, you can't do it. All of a sudden, you're going to shoot to the forward because people can say, it's not your time. But when God says it's your time, it's your time. It's your time to win. It's your time to break through. It's your time to overcome. It's your time to be healed. It's your time for deliverance. It's your time for blessing. It's your time for abundance. Whatever it is you're believing God for, don't wait for somebody to say, it's your turn before you move on. Listen to the Lord. And probably he's telling you, your brother has shown up. Others have shown up. But step into your destiny. And this child did exactly that. And I like how the mother and the midwives were, were astounded. They said, how did you break through? How did you, how did you make it? And that's going to be the question people will ask. How did you break through? How did you get this far? How did you make it? How, what happened? What is your secret? Well, we know the secret. The secret is the Lord God Most High who knows how to take people who are down and lift them high. He takes somebody who has nothing and makes something out of them. He takes people who are in the valley and puts them on the mountain top. How did you make it? The Lord made you. The Lord did it for you, and the Lord will make it for you. The Lord will do it for you, and I trust God that in this season, as we wait on him, as we pray, as our hearts are burdened to the Lord, as we worship, as we become sensitive to the Holy Spirit, as we become sensitive to the direction of the Lord, God will give you one instruction that will shoot you from where you are to the place where he wants you to be. Breakthrough is coming to you, and this is the day of your breakthrough in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Say with me, Heavenly Father, you are the God of the breakthrough. By faith, I cross every barrier set before me in Jesus' name, amen and amen. You're breaking barriers and you're breaking through. Well, I'll catch you again tomorrow. I'm Pastor Mesa Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.